Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to set up localization for your GigoShop site. What this is going to allow you to do is basically change certain aspects of the language you're using to fit your preferences or your users preferences. So if there's some kind of strange dialect that some people use um, who visit your site, you can actually change the language pack to allow for those phrases to be included automatically. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do to initiate this process is I'll show you how to navigate into your site, um, your site's file system. Um, I have a local site set up here, so yours will be on FTP. Um, but what you need to do is you need to navigate into your wpconfig.php file and open it in your preferred text editor and right here on line 72 you'll see a function called define um, it defaults to English and this will actually be blank it'll look like this before you change anything um, but what you need to do is insert in your preferred language code um, we'll just do that one and save it so after you've saved it, you can come into your site, and I'll start over um, just to show you the process. So you come to your site, the next thing you're going to want to do is install this plugin. You'll want to install the Code Styling Localization plugin. Now what this plugin allows you to, allows you to do is edit your um, language from your site. Uh, the language that we just included it included in the config file um, you can actually edit the language so to do so after you activate and install the plugin you're going to want to hover over tools right here in your WordPress admin screen and select localization now once you're in the localization screen you can navigate down to GigoShop um, because this is the plugin we're going to be changing the language and look for your language here now let's just say that the language you want isn't in this list um, I will delete one of these languages just to show you how to add a new language so we can add a new language and because we just entered ENGV into our config file we are going to select that language and create it. Now the next step to making this work is you want to rescan just to make sure that everything is in order and you have um, all of the phrases downloaded. So after it's done rescanning we can, you can move into the edit screen okay so it's finished and we can select edit now from here you're going to want to generate the MO file no need to explain what that does it's just um, we're going to need to do so and now that you have everything set up you can start editing things so let's say we want to change some of the words in this phrase we can just either search for it or because it's right here we can just move right into edit so here's the original it says that attribute already already exists no additions were made so let's just change a word here to um, made we'll change it to completed and save so now that we just did that any phrases on the actual site um, that contain contained this original phrase will be changed to the translation so what this allows you to accomplish is you won't have to worry about um, users being confused with certain dialects and your um, messages will automatically be changed to that so you won't really have to do any legwork as far as you know getting into the actual code of your site this will just automatically change everything for you
So that's pretty much the extent of um, this tutorial. I hope you guys uh, don't have any issues.